Flashback Mary. Flashback Mary. Flashback Mary. Hi Sparkles! Hi Sparkles, it's Jordan Sparks and welcome back to the Constellation. So last night I decided that I'm going to call us the Constellation instead of just the Sparkly Fam. Because if you guys have been an OG on my channel, you know that Sparkles is short for Sparkling Star. And a group of stars is called a Constellation. So I'm going to call us the Constellation from now on and I'm also going to bring back my sparkling star and if you want to be the sparkling star in my next video all you have to do is retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter and my Twitter and Instagram are both Jordan J Sparks and I reactivated my snapchat so if you want to check me out on snapchat it's JJ Sparks. So I'm actually going to be on set all night long so in today's video I thought we would do a get ready with me for set and what my makeup routine is whenever I'm going to be on set and I'm also going to be spilling a lot of tea and I wrote down a bunch of things that I wanted to talk about in this video so if you're interested in that make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up and if you're brand new here welcome make sure to hit that juicy red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification at any time during this video to join the constellation and let's hop right into this video so i booked a commercial and it's my first commercial of the season and i'm honestly super nervous because i have not been on set in a long time and i always get so anxious when i'm going to be on set and i was like okay hopefully i'm going to know at least one person on set and then today my friend madeline text me and she's like, hey, guess what? I'm going to be on set today. So shout out to Madeline. And so I'm so excited to at least have one friend there because then I won't be so nervous. So because I'm going to be on set tonight and all night long, this is going to be a really light and natural masculine look, but also with enough hold so that it stays all night long because this is going to be a night shoot. By the way, this video is in no way sponsored. There is no affiliate links or anything. This is just my honest opinions and the products that I'm currently using. So first I'm going to start with the most important part of my makeup routine, the prep. Skincare. I'm personally a huge advocate that skincare is your most important step of your makeup routine. So first I shave my face and I'll just be using this four blade big razor. I'll be using a sensitive shaving cream today. Then I go in with this Nivea Protect and Care Exfoliating Face Scrub. I know there's a lot of controversy in the dermatology world these days as to whether or not face scrubs are actually good for your skin, but I personally find that I like the clean and it doesn't damage my skin. And then recently I've started using a toner, so I'll go in with this Neutrogena Alcohol-Free Toner, and I like to use alcohol-free so that it doesn't strip the skin of its natural moisture, and then I just put that on a cotton swab and apply it to my face in upward circular motions. Toner just goes in and removes like all of the extra impurities that any of the cleanser left behind and tones your skin. This is always my favorite part of my skincare routine because it smells so refreshing and it leaves my face and my skin feeling so refreshed and new and then after I've applied a toner my face is ready for a lotion and I use this Nivea protect and care hydrating lotion then once I'm done toning my face my skin is like a sponge and it's perfectly prepped to apply a hydrating moisturizer so I'm going to use this Nivea for men moisturizer I just always use Nivea I love Nivea products. Not sponsored. I ain't bougie enough for no sponsorship. <laughs> one day. One day, right? Eh? Eh? All right, and that is basically my entire skincare routine, and now I'm ready to go put on my makeup. So now that my skin is all shaped, prepped, and moisturized, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous Foundation 3-in-1 plus SPF. I find that this is perfect for set. I'm just going to apply it with a beauty blender, but basically it's a 3-in-1. It claims to be a primer, a concealer, and a foundation and it's in the shade warm beige which i find works well to even out the skin tone i like this the foundation we're going to set because it's super buildable but it's not like a really heavy coverage so i can still see my freckles through it and it still looks pretty natural i like to make sure to put a little bit extra where my five o'clock shadow is sometimes i go in with an orange color corrector a lot of the time when i'm playing somebody really young i like to go in with an orange color corrector just to cancel out the five o'clock shadow but I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm just going to be applying a generous amount over top of my five o'clock shadow because there's a bit of redness there, pouncing it into the skin with the beauty blender, and then making sure to bring it down my jaw and onto the neck. And don't forget the ears. I'm just going to apply like a really small amount to my forehead. And that's literally all the coverage that I want, except for it does claim to be a concealer as well. But I do want a tiny bit of extra coverage under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with like the smallest drop of cover effects in the shade light. And I just apply it directly to my face. Instagram beauty guru style. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to pass it in. I'm going to take this all the way around my eye because I have a bit of darkness on the side and onto the eyelid. Then I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Now, because I want a really natural skin-like appearance, I'm going to go in with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder while my skin is still moist with a moist beauty blender, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and on my eyelids, and that's it. 
I don't want to bake or anything because I just want a super natural finish, but I don't want any creasing on my lids or underneath my eyes because we did use a concealer. Now I'm just going to go in with the NYX Matte Bronzer really, really lightly with this fluffy brush that's literally broken. If you're a brush company, you should send me your PR. <laughs> and this is in the shade Medium. I just like to dot it where I would contour in the hollows of my cheek. And then I blend it back. Being careful not to bring it too far forward into the center of my face. And then I put a tiny bit underneath my jaw. And then I'm going to do my entire forehead. Now I'm going to gently go in with what's left on the brush and go over my entire face to just add a tiny bit of an extra glow. Now you guys came for me hard on my eyebrows in the last video, but I'll show you guys close up. This is my eyebrows naturally with nothing on them. They're super different shapes. This eyebrow literally grows like outwards right here and this eyebrow is just a totally different shape. Like my eyebrows aren't even sisters, honey. They are cousins. I don't even know if they're actually related. I think this one's adopted. Anyways, to do my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this The Rock Nudes palette by Maybelline and a little angled brush. And because I'm going for a super natural look today, I don't want like the really dark filled in block eyebrows. So I'm just going to start at the middle of my brow and follow the natural contour of my brow and just define it a little bit. I don't like going in for like that full drawn in ombre brow, but I do like to concentrate some darkness on the tail. And also be careful not to drag the color in too far forward, just like a tiny bit to fill in the sparseness. Now I'm just going to go back in with a brush, make sure that everything is brushed off, making sure that there's no excess powder and that all of my bronzer is nicely blended in, including on the jaw and down the neck. So for this next part, I would actually recommend that you use a brow gel, but I don't have one at the moment. So I'm going to go in with a fine tooth comb and a little bit of hairspray. I like to just spray it directly onto the comb and then I'm going to use that to comb up my eyebrow hairs into the position that I want. Then I'm going to go back in and fill in any missed spots. And that's it for my eyebrows. Now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. Now here's a secret for the boys. So I like to take the wand, then I like to take the same kind of angle brush that I would use for my eyebrows and I just brush it a little bit against the wand until there's a tiny bit on the brush and you literally need the smallest amount for this. Then using this brush, I'm just going to go into the center of my eye and darken the root of my eyelashes at the center. And this will just outline my eyelashes and make my eye pop a little bit more without it being too dramatic or giving like a makeup look. And then I just apply it to the center on the bottom as well. And then I'll just repeat the same thing on the other side. You know, Sparkles, it has taken me an entire lifetime, but if I have one piece of advice that I could leave you guys with is to really truly embrace yourself because you'll never be confident being anybody else but yourself. You can really embrace yourself and who you are and believe in yourself. You'll be confident. You'll be able to embrace who you are. But if you're always faking it and trying to do what you think other people want from you, you'll always struggle with your self-esteem and you'll always struggle with your confidence. So if I have one piece of advice for you guys, it's Try and embrace whoever you are. Be whoever you are. Be who you want to be. B-A-R-B-I-E. I guess Barbie taught us some good lessons, didn't she? <laughs> so I was thinking about all this drama that's been going on in the beauty community, and I kind of had this little conspiracy of mine, and I was wondering if Jeffrey was retracting his statements just because it's going to affect what's going to happen with him and Shane Dawson's new series, <laughs> that I was like, maybe Jeffree Star just didn't show all of his receipts because this entire drama could affect a huge new series that they've been working on for literally months. But the other thing is Jeffree Star just opened up this entire new partnership with Morphe. So if Morphe is going to be dropping James Charles over this entire drama, then if Jeffree Star drags himself into it and posts all of these not PG rated receipts, then maybe he'll lose his collab and partnership with Morphe as well. So. That's just my conspiracy. Now for my lips, I don't want anything colored or tinted because again, I want this to be a super natural look. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Lips. I know you guys probably haven't heard of these in a long time, but I'm still obsessed because this number 75 Fierce and Tangy one reminds me of the yellow Trident gum and I'm obsessed with it. Now I don't want to add any extra redness because I'm going to be on camera and I don't want to add any highlight or anything like that because it will interfere with being on camera. So that is it for my makeup. Now I'm just going to set everything in place using the e.l.f. setting spray.
And this is my completed natural look for going to set. I see theme parks. Hey, it's Jordan from the future. I'm on my way to set and I am lost. And I see roller coasters. So always not lost. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, but look at this beautiful roller coaster. If my life today consists of riding this roller coaster, it's gonna be a good life. I've been on location for set since like 8 o'clock, now getting close to midnight, and we still haven't been on set yet. That's because it's pouring rain. I think we're just waiting for the rain to clear up. I don't think that we can actually film in the rain. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and get ready with me. If you did, make sure to give it a great big thumbs up. Let me know your guys' opinion on the whole Jeffree Star James Charles Tati drama and my little conspiracy over whether Jeffree was just trying to like clear his name for business sake with Morphe and Shane Dawson. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, make sure to give it a great big thumbs up. And again, I'm going to be introducing the Sparkling Star shout out again in my next video. So if you want to be my next Sparkling Star, make sure to retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. You can follow me on both Twitter and Instagram. They are both Jordan J Sparks. I will leave the links down in the bio. You can shop my merch on Teespring. I will also leave the link down in the bio. And I'm back on Snapchat, which is JJ Sparks, if you want to follow me there as well. And if you haven't yet, make sure to tap that juicy red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to join the constellation. And that is it for this video. So as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, sparkles.